In this video, we will fix the unsupported secure boot state in Windows. You are seeing this because Windows was installed using the old legacy BIOS mode. So, before turning on secure boot, you need to change your Windows installation from legacy to UEFI. Right-click the start icon and open PowerShell as administrator. Type get disk and press enter to see all your computer's disks. You will see that all disks are currently using MBR style. Alternatively, you can check the disk style and disk management. We need to change the system disk from MBR to GPT to work with UEFI boot mode. Windows has a tool that lets you do this without losing any data or reinstalling Windows. First, run this command to check if your system can be converted from MBR to GPT. If you don't see any errors, continue to the next step. This might take a few minutes, so please be patient. When it's done, Windows will be converted and your system disk will be GPT. As you can see, the partition style has been converted from MBR to GPT. Now, restart your computer. Press the delete key repeatedly to enter the BIOS setup. For example, I am using a gigabyte motherboard. Press F2 to switch to advanced mode. In advanced mode, use the arrow keys to go to the boot menu. As you can see, CSM support is on and secure boot is not available. So, you need to turn off CSM support first. Now that CSM support is off, the secure boot option is available. Press enter to turn it on. You got this because there are no secure boot keys are enrolled. Press enter to continue. You can see secure boot is enabled, but not active. To make it active, Move to the Secure Boot Mode option. Change it from Standard to Custom. Then, change it back to Standard. A new window will pop up. Press Enter to install the default Secure Boot keys. In this step, please select No instead of Yes. Secure Boot is now enabled and active. You can now press F10 to save the changes and restart your computer. Open the System Information app again to check. Secure Boot is now enabled. Steps to enable Secure Boot on a MSI motherboard. and steps to enable secure boot on an ASUS motherboard.
Steps to enable secure boot on a Oshrock motherboard. And finally, steps to enable secure boot on a Biostar motherboard. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next videos.